you've gone through year one. What is something that you're more convicted than ever on? And what is something you've changed your mind on? Um, the conviction deal is just, uh, is, is, you know, I'm not going to use that word. I mean, to use the word again, but do what you're convicted about. You know what I mean? For me, I mean, that was, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's a crazy story. I mean, you know, uh, you know, people probably don't know this, but like, you know, I followed Sean Miller who did a really good job at Arizona and some things happened. And next thing I know, I'm the head coach and, and Sean and I live, uh, literally across the golf course from each other. We see each other's <laughs> houses. That's a true story. And so I went and met with him about a month on the job because I was like, you know, hey, this guy's a hell of a coach. And he and I were coaching friends. And, um, you know, I, I didn't want our first interaction with our families met at the steakhouse and there was an awkward standoff, you know, and I was like, so, so I went and met with him and he gave me some great advice that I really, he said, you know what, your first year, you're the only one that, needs to, that knows what needs to be done here. Follow your gut, do everything you want to do. Don't listen to anybody else. And I'm like, but the message was, do what you're convicted about. Mm -hmm. Do what you believe in. And so I, I followed that all year. I, I really did. And, uh, and it really helped me, you know, I, I think get plays off, the place off to a good start because, you know, as a, as a new head coach, you can question yourself, you know. And, and it, it's, you know, I, I didn't take a small job. I took a monster, you know. And, uh, and that fan base, it, they were patient till we won three games and they were wondering if we're going to the Final Four, you know. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, so you're sitting there, and, uh, and so everything you do, you have to be convicted about. And so I, I just said, you know what? The only things I'm going to do this year are things I know. Mm -hmm. Every out-of-bounds play is going to be a play I know. I ain't, I'm, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Every, you know, defensive coverage, something I know. And, uh, and that's what I did, and, uh, and, and I thought it was great advice. Just stay convicted and do what you know best. And what would you change your mind on? Change my mind on is like, man, when do I get a day off? <laughs> Uh, as an assistant coach, you have all these built-in days off, you know. Especially for Mark. And, and, oh, well, no, but hey, you know, and Mark is a great head coach, and, you know, Coach Cowell's in the room, and all these guys are, but as an assistant coach, you know, sometimes you get a little sick of your head coach, and so, hey, coach, I'm going to go out recruiting. <laughs> you know, you, you go take two days on the road, a little personal vacation, you go down to L.A., you watch one game, you come back and say, hey, yeah, I think he's pretty good, we should offer him, you know, and then... <laughs> You know, or, or, it's, or it's your scout, and you, you know, you're all into your scout. Hey, it's what we got to do to beat him, and you're in that. And then, then you win, and then, well, you know what? The next day you come into practice, it's not your scout. You know, you're like, well, you guys figure this out. You know, I'm, I'm good today. So uh, just, just the amount of energy it took.